What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with my hands-on and first impressions video of the Samsung Galaxy A02. So let's get started. So this is the new Galaxy A02. Now at the moment, this phone is only being offered internationally. However, it certainly is possible that the phone will make its way over to US carriers in the future. Another thing I wanna mention as well is that this variant of the phone is the variant that features 64 gigabytes of internal storage along with three gigabytes of RAM. However, there's also another variant that has 32 gigabytes of internal storage and two gigabytes of RAM. But with that being said, let's get started. Now, before I show you more about the actual device itself, let's take a look at the box and everything that comes included. Now, when I received the box, it did come with a big sticker right on the front in front of the picture of the phone. And there still is a little bit of residue left after I peeled off that sticker. But you can see, here is the picture of the actual phone itself. I did get it in red. However, it is offered in some other colors too. And definitely take a look at the link in the video description to learn more about that and also the most up-to-date pricing for the phone. But you can see on the side we have Galaxy branding and that's pretty much it. Now the first thing in the box is this smaller box. Let's take a look and see what we get in here. So in there we get our quick start guide. Then getting further into the box, we have the SIM card removal tool. We have a Samsung branded USB wall adapter. And then we have a micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. So this variant of the phone does come with micro USB. Now it is possible that if this phone does get officially launched in the US, we will be getting USB-C. I'm not sure about that, but I do know that with last year's Galaxy A01, the predecessor to this phone, with the international variant, we got micro USB, and then in the US, we got USB-C. So again, I just wanted to point all of this out to prevent any possible confusion, whether it's now or later. But here is the actual Samsung Galaxy A02 itself. Now, about a month ago, Samsung did release the Samsung Galaxy A02s, and we have already covered that phone extensively here on the channel. And well, just like that phone, the regular A02 is certainly a very budget-oriented device. It is a completely different phone. Now in the future, we will be doing comparison videos versus the A02s, and then also last year's A01. So I hope you're looking forward to that. So definitely make sure to sub to the channel so you don't miss out on that content. But with this device, we're getting a very large display at 6.5 inches. The display itself is PLS IPS LCD at 720p. We're getting a PPI of 270, a 20 by nine aspect ratio, so a more narrow but taller form factor. And we're getting an 81 0.9% screen to body ratio. So of course it would have been nice if we got an AMOLED display with this phone, but I certainly don't expect that since this is one of the lowest level devices in the A series. But thankfully the display does get decently bright and colors are not too bad either. So in general, I'm happy with it. Now at the top of the phone, we do have a water drop notch and in that notch is the front facing camera at five megapixels. Then at the bottom of the display, we do get a little bit of a thicker bottom bezel, but in general, the bezels overall are pretty small with the phone. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are different variants of this device that do come with different levels of internal storage. This is the 64 gigabyte variant of the phone. However, there is also a 32 gigabyte variant. Now, since getting the phone, I have installed a variety of my favorite applications. And between that, the pre-installed applications, and then the operating system, it does use up about 15.2 gigabytes. So thankfully, by having 64 gigs here with the phone, we do get quite a bit of remaining storage. And then if you do end up getting the 32 gigabyte variant, then just know that you will have quite a bit less internal storage remaining. Now, thankfully with this device, we do have micro SD card expansion support. So that is a method to expand the storage on your phone, just in case you happen to need more. Now with this phone, there's no wireless charging. There's also no fingerprint sensor to be found. And there's also no face unlock. Now I do understand that they couldn't include the fingerprint sensor because they wanted to save money and offer this phone at a really good deal. However, it is still disappointing that there is no face unlock. But you can see here, here are the various options, swipe, pattern, pin, password, or nothing. Now on the back of the phone, we do have a dual camera setup. We're getting a 13 megapixel main camera and a two megapixel macro camera. Now with this phone, there's no portrait mode support with either the rear or front cameras. So it is pretty interesting that despite getting a dual camera setup here, there is no portrait mode supported. Now here's how things look on the camera app. This is with the front facing camera right now. And in general, I do feel like things do look decently crisp and clear here. Of course, stay tuned for the full review video as I will be showing you a variety of different photo and video samples here from the phone. But then from here, of course, we can take 
front facing video, or we can flip around to the rear camera on the phone to take photos with that standard 13 megapixel camera. So, so far it does seem pretty decent. From what I remember with the A01, that phone also took pretty decent pictures, especially since just like this phone, that phone is a very low end device in Samsung's lineup. But then from here, we can switch over to the macro camera and then you can get very close up for nice detailed images. So I'm not sure how often you personally will be using the macro camera. I know that I don't really use it much myself and I certainly would have preferred to see portrait mode instead. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, there are two different variants of the phone when it comes to RAM. We have options for two or three gigabytes. So this phone does have three gigs of RAM because it is the variant that also has 64 gigs of storage. Now the processor that we're getting here is the MediaTek MT6739W. Now I know that many people do already associate MediaTek with lower end processors and just know that the processor that we're getting with this phone is even a really low end processor by MediaTek standards. So if you are looking to do anything beyond phone calls, text messages, and very basic social media usage, this phone likely will not be fast enough for you. Because so far from my experience of using it, it's not necessarily unusable, but even setting up the phone took forever. Now I did run a benchmark test using Geekbench 5, and I'll show you the scores from that test right now. But you can see here, we got a single core score of 106, and a multi-core score of 350. So neither of those two metrics are impressive at all. Now I do recommend running the Geekbench 5 benchmark test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of whether or not the A02 will actually be an upgrade for you. Now video recording with this phone does max out at 1080p with both the front and rear cameras, which is pretty good. And with this phone, we are getting a really massive 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery. So that certainly is very impressive. Nice to see that they are giving us quite a bit of battery capacity as you will be able to use this phone for quite a while before it actually runs out. Now the software on here is Android 10 with Samsung's One UI 2.0. I have no idea if, when, or ever it's gonna be getting the Android 11 update and maybe even Android 12. I do know that Samsung has pledged to update their A-series phones for multiple years, but I'd imagine that out of the various devices on their list to update, the A02 probably is at the bottom of their priority list since it is already a very budget-oriented phone. But of course, let's be optimistic and hope that they will be updating this phone on a consistent basis for an extended period of time. But now that we've gone over the major specifications of the Samsung Galaxy A02, and I showed you everything that comes included here in the box, let's take a closer look at the hardware. Now, I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here. Definitely a pretty traditional design, especially when it comes to budget smartphones. But the material on the sides and back panel is kind of interesting. It is a harder plastic material, but I do like how they added these little flakes in the material here. I think it does make the phone look very unique from other devices that I have tested out lately. Now, even though this is a very inexpensive and affordable option from Samsung, the phone in general does feel nice and solid and doesn't necessarily feel cheap. Now, taking a look at the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then, on the right side of the phone, we have the power button, volume down, and volume up. Then up top here, we have nothing. And then on the bottom of the phone, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, micro USB port for charging and data transfer. And again, it is possible that in the future, they might launch a variant of this phone that does have USB-C, and I certainly hope they do. And then we have the speaker. Then on the back of the phone, we don't have a whole lot here, but we do have the Samsung logo, flash, and then the camera module. So again, like I mentioned earlier, I am a big fan of this material on the back side of the A02. I certainly think it is a good choice by Samsung, and I do like when companies do take a more unique approach like they did with this phone. But this is my hands-on and first impressions video with the new Samsung Galaxy A02. I'm definitely curious to know what you think about this phone and what other content you'd like to see us do here on the channel about it. But this is Kevin here. Make sure to sub to the channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next one.